What's up guys, Trey back again here bringing the video. So this time we'll be doing a video talking about um, Fedor versus Jeff Munson. Um, it's going to take place on the um, 20th of November, so we got a few weeks uh, until that's coming up. It will be on pay-per-view and it will be in Russia, brought to you by uh, M1 Global. So M1 is actually going to put on their own, you know, totally their own show pretty much, um, which is uh, kind of cool. I like to see... You know, a lot of people hate on M1 Global a lot because Fedor is not in the UFC as a result of them. And I can to totally understand that, you know, that uh, that point of view. And uh, I agree, I would have loved to have seen Fedor in the UFC. But I think, you know, financially, it, it doesn't make sense. When you have a guy like Fedor who's that big of a draw, you know, one event, I mean, they could make, you know, he could make so much money. Um, they say that Fedor is the highest paid mixed martial artist in the world. And I do believe that. I mean, you know, when when he gets a such a you know big cut of the uh, the event, um, him and Brock Lesnar got to be the two highest paid. And I think Fedor is probably you know higher higher paid than Brock. If you guys don't know, the UFC doesn't actually pay their fighters that much. Guys like Anderson Silva, they only get like two hundred thousand. And you might think, oh, that's crazy, two hundred thousand. Uh, you know, take me five years during that or whatever. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, but you know. <laughs> Compared to the amount of money the pay-per-view brings in, that's next to nothing. Um, you know, boxers get get a higher portion, and boxers get you know millions when they fight, millions and millions and millions. So you know, this makes sense that they're doing it this way. And uh, you know, Fedor got cut from Strikeforce um, after losing his third consecutive fight. Um, tough fight against uh, Dan Henderson for him. I mean, you know, you guys know what happened. Um, that wasn't good, you know. Fedor's career, unfortunately, in this past year or two, has really, uh, you know, taken uh, taken a nosedive, so to speak. But he keeps fighting, you know. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of Fedor fans out there. I'm one of them. Fedor has been my favorite fighter his whole career, pretty much, even from when you know we first started and everything. Um, but unfortunately, his career is at this point now where he's, you know, he's fighting uh, guys like Jeff Munson. Nothing, nothing against Jeff Munson. I mean, he's. Uh, uh, he's a great fighter, uh, ex extremely skilled and everything like that. It's just that, you know, I guess, you know, when you talk about the greatest fighter, you know, uh, of all time pretty much, um, or one of them, one of the two, him and Anderson Silva I put at the top, um, you know, despite whether or not you hold him at number one or number two, he is either number one or number two, the greatest mixed martial artist we've had so far. And to see him fighting, you know, like second, third, fourth tier down against guys like Jeff Munson is just kind of, you know, really, Jeff Munson shouldn't even get a fight with Fedor, in my opinion, at all. You know, but unfortunately, you know, the way everything is gone, him losing and everything, this is what we're going to see. So let's do this uh, prediction video for it. Um, at this point, you know, let's look. Let's go over the skills first. You've got Jeff Munson, who's one of the best grapplers in the heavyweight division. Um, you know, fantastic submission skills, excellent wrestling. Striking is decent, um, not terrible, but not great. He's not Junior Dos Santos, he's not Alistair Overeem, but um, at the same time, he is about as good as Fabrizio Verdum, or almost, almost as good as Verdum, I'd say. Um, and he's bigger and he's stronger than Doom, um, quite a bit. I mean, Jeff Munson is a really strong guy, like he's freakishly strong. So, you know, that could prove to be a problem for Fedor. If Fedor gets clinched with him and gets taken down, or, you know, uh, Munson can close the distance and, you know, turn this into a grappling match, and Jeff Munson's going to win this fight. There's no question about it. Um, Fedor will have to use his speed, if he still has it. Um, use his, uh, you know, hopefully he'll be stronger than he was against um, against Dan Henderson. And, you know, use uh, use that strength to push off and keep keep this a striking bout. And um, he could knock out Jeff Munson very easily. It, you know, really the question here is not really about Jeff. It's really all about Fedor. You know, where is he at this point in his career? You know, what has he got left? Does he really... Is his heart really in it anymore? You know, is he really, when he's training, is he really training like he used to? His body doesn't look like it. He looks like he's been consistently losing weight over the past couple of years. So hopefully we'll see, a, you know, a bigger, stronger Fedor come in there and, uh, you know, really, you know, beat the snot out of uh, Jeff Munson. I mean, it's hard to make a prediction for this fight because, it, you know, we just don't know uh, what kind of shape Fedor is in. We don't know, you know, how he's feeling, if he's got the motivation to do this still. Uh, and that's, you know, that's that's hard to say. I mean, you know, in his last fight, he he came out fighting, he came out swinging, he did everything, but he just he just doesn't seem like he's got that killer instinct, doesn't seem like he's got that fast twitch, you know, speed anymore that he used to have in power. Um, 
again, especially against like Bigfoot. When you look at uh, Daniel Cormier knocking out Bigfoot in the first round, you know, and then you think like, is, does Daniel Cormier have better striking than Fedor or Milianenko? I don't think so. At least in my opinion, he doesn't. So that's that's kind of crazy. So obviously Fedor should take this fight, no question about it. Um, as for a prediction, can I pick Fedor at this time for a bet? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can pick Fedor right now. Uh, I mean, losing three consecutive, I don't know if he's really turning anything around here, if he's just doing this for the paychecks now. If he loses this fight, I'd say that, uh, you know, you got to retire. I think probably at this point, I, I said that his last fight against uh, Dan Henderson. I mean, if he gets beat by a middleweight, he has to retire well. I think I'll watch Fedor's fights forever. You know, I'll always, I'll always love to watch Fedor. I just hope that, um, you know, he still has it. I hope he still has the desire. I hope he still has the will. And uh, I hope he comes out here and, and knocks Jeff Munson out. Do I think it's going to happen? Um, hmm. Jeez, man, this is this is hard to say. Um, I still have to say yes, even though he's lost three consecutive. I still got to say, you know, sooner or later, you know, Fedor's got to pick it back up. Jeff Munson is is not the best heavyweight in the world. He's maybe a top twenty, maybe a top thirty. So I would have. To, I still got to go with Fedor in this fight, taking Jeff Munson out. And I, I think uh, he'll do it in, in the first round. That's it for now, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think Fedor still got it? Do you think he's going to take Munson out? Uh, and if he loses this, is that, a, is that it? Does he need to stop after that? Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Later.